and welcome to the St. Paul Art Crawl, virtual style. I'm Linda Snoffer, botanical printmaker, and I am in the Dow Gallery to show you the work that I have on exhibit here. We're looking at ryegrass, which is printed on pigment-infused tissue paper. I used a fiber dye pigmentation process making this. The tallest grasses come up to the tip of my nose, so I had to figure out a way that I could work with really, really large materials. And I ended up taking over my garage for a summer and worked on a four by eight sheet of plywood as my um, studio table. With this huge project, I started using really small grasses at the very bottom and then um, did a series of printings got bigger and bigger and bigger until I ultimately got to the largest ones. And then I got smaller again. And doing it in that kind of printing order gives you the sense of having some depth. These are two pieces that are meant to be hung together. You can see that they're connected. I've hung them side by side. I've hung them in corners like this. And um, I think they work in both directions. These are also part of a commission that I did with the Shoreview Public Library, and there's five pieces that look very similar to this hanging at the Shoreview Library. We're looking at fall emerges and a small slice of summer. The shorter one, fall emerges, is printed on tissue paper that has a fiber dye on it, similar to the last one that we saw. The taller one, a small slice of summer, is tissue paper that's bound underneath fiber dyed organza, bridal veil material. And that's why it has that kind of glossy color to it. This is First Tassels. It's printed on watercolor paper. It's got a combination of watercolor background and chalk pastel on it with the um, botanical printing. If you look closely, you can see some remnants of plant material left on here. And I've learned to just keep that in there. It, it gives it some authenticity. We're standing in front of Wood's Edge which is printed on a raw canvas that I pigmented using chalk pastel. If you look closely, you'll see that it's a mirror image. Those are the same pieces. And I, I work by having them um, printed at the same time. I do mirror image printing for a number of reasons. Um, I've got ink on both sides of the grasses oftentimes, and it's a way that I can capture images from both. I get a two for one out of the deal. And in this case, instead of having two pieces, I put it all under one frame and made it a single piece. This is Stormy Sky and After the Storm. And it's another example of mirror imaging printing that I do. This piece and this piece are the same. You can imagine me printing them like that. These are both printed on pigment-infused organza, bridal veil material. Thanks so much for coming to the St. Paul Art Crawl Virtual Style 2020.